Hey guys, Coyote Peterson here. Right now we're out filming my new series, Dragon Tales. And before I get you guys up close with some giant turtles, I want to take a look back at the top 10 predators from the first season of Breaking Trail. If there is one thing that is for certain when looking back on season one of Breaking Trail, it's that we encountered or worked with some of North America's most iconic predators. Uh, let's just sneak up slow on this and try not to startle anything that might be out. Uh, yeah, there could be alligators, so just uh, be aware. From right at home in central Ohio with giant snapping turtles. Wow, that's about as close as you want to get your face to the face of a snapping turtle. Down into southern Florida with endangered American crocodiles. You see those teeth right on his jawline there. Those are about as sharp as razor blades. And uh, <laughs> you don't want those digging into your hand. Out to the nighttime deserts of Arizona with some creepy crawlies. Thankfully they don't eat coyotes. And all the way into the back country of Montana to work with a grizzly bear. I have come face to face with some serious sets of jaws, claws, teeth, and animal attitude. Let's take a look back at this season's top predator encounters. The first location we filmed in season one needs no introduction, the epic Florida Everglades. While working on a private wildlife preserve, we were given the opportunity to get close with a prehistoric looking reptile that for me was one of the most memorable captures of my life. Something, hey, hey, something's moving right here. Hold on, keep up, keep up. Move it, move it, move it! It's a turtle! It's huge! It is huge! It's an alligator snapping turtle! Hold on, let me bring it back around this way. Whoa! Can you believe the size of that turtle? Holy cow! Look at that swamp beast! My goodness! What an absolute dinosaur! The alligator snapping turtle no longer ranges as far south as the Everglades but the most iconic reptile of this area was around each and every turn. I can see him from this height. It looks like a pretty good sized alligator. My heart is racing right now. And trust me, you have to respect the American alligator. Woo. Wow! Okay, now that is the American alligator. I think this episode was probably the most dangerous to film. These reptiles are built like tanks. <laughs> he said, all right, I've had enough of the underwater business. And as many of you witnessed, down to the last parting shot, everything was a close call. See you later, buddy. Wow! From the sawgrass swamps to the cactus-covered deserts of Arizona, predators are everywhere. Some slither, but we found that the top hunters in the desert were actually covered in more legs than most of us care to deal with. Scorpions, as we saw, are about as quick and creepy as it gets, armed with pinchers and a venom-injecting stinger, which of course, I got my own dose of. I'm Caddy Peterson, and I'm entering the strike zone. One, two, three. Jeez, yep, yeah, he got me. I don't want that bad. Then there were the close encounters of the spider kind. And there you have it. One big spider. Wow. There we go. Now this is in no way causing any injury to the spider. It just will allow me to kind of get him up so you guys can see those fangs. I'll tell you what, if you're a moth or any of the other little bugs that run out here in this wash, you meet up with that set of fangs, it's gonna be the last meeting you ever have. Giant fangs in the dark of night are guaranteed to get your heart racing. But there's no question as to which species was the top assassin of the sands. All you guys out there who are afraid of spiders, meet your new nightmare. This is the giant desert centipede. I don't think I've ever been more nervous working with an animal. One really interesting feature about this centipede is you see how he's got that dark spot on his tail and those two little, oh, oh, 
as close to my hand. Lightning quick, very painful venom, and a creepy factor that is quite simply off the charts. Uh, you may be afraid of spiders and snakes, but I'll tell you what, if you really want to be afraid of something that's out here in the desert crawling around at night, my money's going on the giant desert centipede. Now tell me that's not something that's going to give you nightmares. Arizona was epic, but nothing takes your breath away like the beauty of Montana. We had the chance to work with some of the top predatory mammals, which was a very unique experience in that we could never get this close to these animals in the wild. Each and every one was provided for us, but at no time did that make the encounters any less dangerous. On the cute side of things, climbing up a tree after a pine marten was pretty awesome. I'm going to make a reach for and I'm going to be as gentle as possible so I don't risk taking a bite. Otter. Woo. I've worked with venomous snakes, snapping turtles, and a number of different other creatures. But my heart is racing right now, climbing up a tree, holding on to a pine marten. And while she may be adorable, this member of the weasel family is one of the most lethal assassins in the United States. They spend most of their time up there hunting for squirrels, which is their primary source of food. And what they will do is chase squirrels through the trees, lunge, actually can grab them out of midair, and then they want to bite to the back of the neck. And you see those long little canine teeth there are perfect for inflicting that death wound. And then of course, they have their meal. If you were to ask me personally what the greatest encounter was of season one, I'd likely tell you it was my time spent with the American Badger. That is the American Badger. Since childhood, I have wanted to be this close to a badger, and now here I am, just inches from that face. I have loved badgers my entire life. It's just so cool being this close with a badger, getting to film literally in the strike zone. All right, don't bite my finger though. And to share a moment this close with a creature made famous for its ornery disposition was something I will never forget. When it comes to the biggest predator encounter, I think we can all agree that working with a 750 pound grizzly bear is about as big as it gets. It's a bear that's been raised in captivity for educational purposes. He's an ambassador for his species. It is still a grizzly bear and deserves an incredible amount of respect. And I can see it right over my shoulder here and it is big. You're gonna, you're gonna come hiking through this uh, game trail here across this pass. Have a camera down there getting that perspective. Adam will be coming back from that game trail leading to the bushes. There's good cover there so we can have somebody back there with him. He's gonna come out as you're passing by and he's gonna startle you and you're gonna turn around and you're gonna do what you're supposed to do. I'm about to get swiped at by a grizzly bear. Typical Saturday morning, I'm making breaking trail. Was I afraid? Not really. I don't know if you can tell, but I am extremely nervous. Was I intimidated? A little bit. And that was intense, <laughs> getting swatted at by a grizzly bear. Was I in complete awe that I was getting to do something so unbelievably cool as to show you what to do and not do if you ever encounter a grizzly bear in the wild? Absolutely. Wow, look at that set of teeth. Bringing you guys the first season of Breaking Trail has been life changing and working with these predators has always been my dream. So to sum up the top predators of season one, here we go. Number one, the common snapping turtle. Respect, number one thing you have to have whenever working with the common snapping turtle. Number two, giant desert hairy scorpion. Ah, jeez, ah, yeah, he got me. Number three, the American crocodile. Uh, just cause this guy is only about two feet long, doesn't mean that he can't give me a pretty good bite. Number four, desert blonde tarantula. Whew. I know for those of you out there who have arachnophobia, this is probably your worst nightmare. Wow, that is a big spider right there. Number five, American alligator. So I open up his mouth, he's saying, I'm the top predator around here, coyote. You better have some respect for me. And trust me, you have to respect the American alligator. Number six, the giant desert centipede. Uh, there's several animals out here that will try to eat this centipede, but I'll tell you what, you don't get them the first time, you're gonna get a bite that's gonna put you in pain for a week. Number seven, American Pine Martin. <sighs> Up a tree after a Pine Martin. Got her. Woo. Now the real challenge, getting back down. Number eight, the alligator snapping turtle. Wow, look at that mouth. <sighs> yeah, you would 
not want to get your hand caught in the mouth of this turtle. Number nine, the American Badger. Those sharp teeth get a hold of my fingers, it's gonna be a bad situation. And last, but certainly not least, number 10, the Grizzly Bear. I miss that big bear. If you thought that was one wild adventure, make sure to subscribe to the Brave Wilderness channel and check out these other episodes so you can stick with us on this season of Breaking Trail.